some of my synths, my Juno 106, my JD800, my TX7 and my Poly 61 has been to the synth doctor. Or the synth doctor is actually my stepbrother. He's a synth uh, fixing freak. He's fixing everything with electronics. It's really cool. So um, I've got them here. So here they are. Uh, I think that maybe this is the Juno 106. Oh yeah, Juno 106. So here it is, the beautiful Juno 106. Uh, I hooked it up in my uh, in my studio, and let's hear the sounds. This is just like the good old days. Because uh, what we've done to this, no, not we, I haven't done anything. <laughs> My stepbrother done to this. He changed all the sound, um, sound chips, all six of them. Um, he cleaned it up inside. And he also changed the chorus um, chip. So now the chorus. I think this is the only Juno 106 in the world with the chorus that don't make noise. And that's pretty cool. Some people might say, oh, you you destroyed the, the Juno original uh, noisy chorus. But if I want to add noise, I just add noise. <laughs> I think it's better without the noise. Um, but that's, that's my personal taste. Uh, so as you can hear now, if I turn off the chorus, That's uh, with uh, no chorus. This is chorus. No sound. No noise. Chorus one and chorus two. No noise. But the chorus is the same. Uh, I do have my Juno X also hooked up here. Um, as you can see it here. Uh, I will not do like uh, a comparison video because there's been so many comparing the Juno 106 with the Juno X. I will not do that. But uh, just to show you like the chorus effect uh, in the Juno X, if I just turn it off, uh, it's the same sound. And yeah, this has some reverb. I can turn off that, of course. Now they are all the same. It's almost the same. Not almost, it's it's the same, but okay. That was this is starting to be a comparison video. It's not gonna be that. Okay, now I turn on my chorus, chorus one on the Juno 106. And the chorus on the Juno X. Yeah, now the volume is a bit higher on this one. So you can hear it's the same chorus. Now it's chorus 2, Juno X, Juno 106. So the chorus effect uh, is. It's the same, and uh, this makes no noise anymore. Uh, on the Juno X, you can choose if you want to, to have a noise chorus or a silent chorus. As I told you, I prefer the silent. Anyway, I'm not gonna do like a comparison video because many have done that already. So the purpose of this video is uh, just me getting back my Juno 106 and uh, share the happiness with you. <laughs> Just go through the sounds. And um, of course, I'm a big fan of the <laughs> of some effects. I need some effects. I need some effect. If I put on, uh, I have um, the Valhalla Shimmer and um, and the Galactic Reverb.
This is the Galactic. It's another um, setup. The piano sound, I think that's number 18 from the original. Oh, yeah. Do you know 106? And uh, Juno X. Now I have lost the reverb on the Juno 106. So, this is uh, if this should be a comparison video, it would be very bad because. The Juno 106 has some more <laughs> reverb and uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I think the Juno 106 sounds a bit sharper, but that uh, also is because of the reverb, I think. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> on the sound. Effects does so much to the sounds. This is without the effect. I can try to do like a clean, clean on the piano sound, of course. And the thing now, I don't know if you can see that on the on here, but now it's uh, the display is also changed. I got a new display. So now I can see all the di digits <laughs> in my numbers before someone was missing before. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if I've done it yet, but in a way, on the screen now, there's some pictures of uh, when he opened up the Juno 6 and what he changed and stuff. And he managed to get all the original sounds back. Some reverb is nice. back in ship shape. I can't tell you how, how excited I am. So now I'm just running through the preset sounds and uh, hopefully you're still with me just uh, sharing sharing my happiness. <laughs> for this. Yeah, I will not play the whole song because then I get a copyright strike. In a live setup or in a studio with uh, lots of other sounds, I, I think it's hard to hear the difference be between the new Juno X and the Juno 106, but the Juno 106 has been with me a long time, so this is special for me anyway. And I think it's cool to have the original gear, at least now that it's in ship shape again.
this one with some Lala La Shimmer, maybe? Oops. Oops. I just love to sit in my studio playing sounds. And actually, I want to... Maybe we should do a live... Uh, live recording on a live live stream I mean with from my studio with just me playing some ambient stuff and some sequence stuff I'm gonna release a new EP very soon maybe we should do a live stream you tell me in the comment field okay if you want a live stream from my studio that I, I sit here some maybe like a Sunday evening just chilling and playing my synths That'd be nice. At least for me. Now it sounds so nice again. <laughs> Lots of memories. perfectly he also changed some faders so it's like being reborn my synth is reborn again you know that riff is actually a kiss song from the album the elder that was uh, Strange Kiss album, but still have it, of course. I don't know if you can feel the same as I do, but all the buttons, everything is like to, to, like brand new. Because uh, um, I used to think that maybe I should just sell the Juno 10X. No, Juno 10X. Juno 106. Now that I have the Juno X. But uh, I don't have the heart to get rid of this. And, and now it's like... Yeah. Oh. I remember this. If that sounds here, of course, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit the volume difference. But uh, if I play on my album this bass, or this space. Yeah. Actually, now I can hear that. Maybe it's a volume thing, I'm not sure, but I think that the, the Juno 106 has more punch. It might be a volume thing. Try to turn up the volume. Thing, I think. <laughs> anyway, 
I will not sell my Juno X anyway because I just love it. And I'm um, in uh, maybe a few weeks now, I'll start to rebuild my studio down in the basement. I'm gonna move from this attic down to the, my basement because it's too tiny here now. And uh, mixing Dolby Atmos with the uh, speakers so close to my head, it's not so easy. So that's why I'm actually moving the studio. The main reason. Thing. <laughs> yeah, anyway. If you didn't see which one I was playing on, I think you would have a problem to, uh, to hear which one is which one. But anyway, so nice to have my Juno back. Oh yeah, I remember the sound. I use it for an intro. opinion that the chorus don't make noise anymore. I don't think, now I don't uh, use my headset actually so maybe I should do that to hear but uh, I just use the speakers because I forgot to put on my headset because I was so <laughs> excited so I don't hope the sound is up but anyway yeah
No, I can't tell you how much memory this bring back, brings back. live streaming from my studio pretty soon I will let you know just remember to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I'm when I'm live that would be nice so that you can be with me when I'm live and also of course I promised you I'm gonna start a new series and I've been planning it so much so but you know it's gonna be so cool it's gonna be so cool so keep hitting the like button to order I'm not sure and the bell Please, that'd be nice. Can I think I get to the effects again? Yeah. Kraftwerk synth. I, I remember when I, I, play, I played in the synth band and I was just. We played that Kraftwerk, Herbie Hancock, and stuff. That is, of course, the sound on my Juno. The last banks or the last patches are always some effects in the Roland synths. This is nothing? Yeah. <laughs> this, of course, is a group A and B. I'm gonna see if that. I'm not gonna go through all the sounds. Um, I'm just gonna see. Good 
job on this one. And again, I'm so excited about the chorus not making any noise, and noise anymore. Because that was, I mean, now in 2024, it's a bit cool when the noise is the good old noise. But back in the days, it was a really pain in the, yeah. Because this was making noise, another synth was making noise. There was so much noise in the room. So for me to hear this synth now without all the noise, that really made me, yeah, back in the days, it's a, it's a blessing. or not as I told you I'm not so fan of it but uh, anyway I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this video it's not a tutorial it's not uh, it's just me being happy to get back my synths um, I also got back my JP 8000 I'm gonna check that out as well if you want me to make a video of that let me know and also the, the TX7, and that I'm going to make a video of for sure, because uh, if you have the TX7 and the program Dexter, uh, not the program, the plugin, you can actually program the TX7. And uh, that's really cool. But anyway, now it was the Juno 106, back again with me in my studio. And I'm really happy about that. So... I see you in the next one.